In this video I will show you 5 dungeons I love running for their simplicity and massive gold making potential. This list includes a pure transmog dungeon, pure material dungeon and dungeons that provide both. You don't need a speed set, you can just grab the fastest class you have leveled and do the dungeons. Let's get into it. The Vortex Pinnacle is located in southern Uldum and we are running it on normal difficulty. Clear all the mobs until the second boss and then jump off the platform to get teleported back to the beginning. 10 runs will take you around 25 minutes. The item we are looking for is Volatile Air. You can get around 350 of them in 10 runs on top of items which are mostly raw gold. A bonus with this dungeon is that the second boss drops a mount and as with all dungeons I recommend using Bear Tartar for extra speed. Scarlet Monastery is the only transmog dungeon on this list, but I had to include it since it is quite fun to run in my opinion. Not only are we getting many sought after classic transmog sets, but we also have a chance on getting vanilla epic BOEs, which sell for tens if not hundreds of thousands of gold. The route is very easy, you kill all the mobs until the last boss, we skip the last boss because of a long roleplay and run back getting all the mobs that were out of our way before. Even without a speed set, even though you should still be using Bear Tartar, you can easily do 10 runs in under 1 hour, so clear all the mobs outside the instance entrance since they shared the same loot table. Halls of Lightning in the Storm Peaks is a dungeon not many people know of, at least in the gold making sense. This dungeon provides a steady stream of Wrath of the Lich King transmog, which is not super high priority with most transmog farmers. On top of transmog you can get Frostweave Cloth, but most importantly Relics of Ulduar. These relics are used to gain Sons of Hodir reputation and many people just don't want to farm them so they buy them off the auction house. You can do 10 runs in 40 to 45 minutes and get roughly 900 relics on top of all the other loot. Relics of Ulduar will be especially valuable when Dragonflight releases and in the following months after that. A new expansion means a big influx of players that will, after clearing new content, be interested in old world stuff as well. Worth mentioning is also the fact that you get eternal air, water and fire in this dungeon, which will make you a few extra thousand gold at the end of your 10 runs. Mana Tombs is a dungeon I have featured before on the channel, I have actually made a separate video on it, link in the description, so I'll give you a TLDR here. We are running Mana Tombs on heroic difficulty because of Ethereum prison keys. Yet another reputation item. To be eligible to obtain this item from mobs in the instance you need to be honored with the consortium and complete a quest called a mission of mercy in netherstorm. On top of these keys you are getting transmog, cloth, volatiles and adamantite and corium ore which spawn in the dungeon. The route is simple, you just follow the corridors and don't forget to skip the bosses because we are on heroic. Pit of Saron is the last dungeon on this list, it is located in the Ice Crown Citadel and we are looking for a single item, the Battered Hilt. This is a quest item which rewards sought after transmog pieces, the method of farming this dungeon is quite easy, you pull a bunch of mobs, line of sight them and then AoE them down, loot, run out and repeat. Sometimes you are going to get 3 hilts in 10 runs, sometimes none. On top of the Battered Hilt you of course get cloth and other items. I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase of some of my favorite dungeons to farm gold in. If you made it this far and want more content hit the subscribe button. Good luck on achieving your gold making goals and thank you for watching my video.